Hello and welcome to the Open News. The day of recording is the 4th of May. Today's stories are Fedora 32 release announced, Ubuntu 20.10 daily builds are now available, Pop OS 20.04 released, and Fairphone partners with E. All that right now on the Open News. For our first news story, we have a short and sweet title for a fantastic news story. Fedora 32 is officially here. Indeed, Fedora 32 has been released this week, not long after the release of Ubuntu 20.04. Fedora 32 brings with it a plethora of improvements, most notably the inclusion of GNOME 3.36 by default, which is, in my opinion, by far one of the best GNOME releases in a long time. As well as that, uh, Fedora 32 comes with several general package updates and support for new hardware. Most excitingly, support for Pine64's various products, such as the Pinebook Pro. So all in all, it's not the you know largest change log in the world, but it's a release that's sure to excite any Fedora users out there and all Pine64 product owners out there. For our next story, we have an article from 9to5Linux. Ubuntu 20.10 Groovy Gorilla daily builds are now available for download. Indeed, the new version of Ubuntu is already in the works. Now, it's still very early days in Ubuntu 20.10's development, as it's only set to be released in October. However, it should be interesting to take a look at Ubuntu 20.10's daily builds to see what sort of things Canonical are working on in this new short-term release. However, at the moment, most of what they're planning isn't implemented. In fact, there hasn't even been an official feature list published yet. All that we gather is it will ship with GNOME 3.38 and the Linux kernel 5.8. However, despite it uh, still being a daily build, if you're feeling adventurous, it might be worth trying it out in a virtual machine nonetheless. I'd heavily advise, however, that you don't install it on real hardware. Like, seriously, don't do it, alright? That said, let's move on to the next story. And for our third story, we have this. Pop OS 20.04 released. Indeed, these past few weeks have sort of been the month for Linux releases. And I think this release is likely going to be one that people find particularly exciting as Pop OS has proven to be quite a popular distro and with good reason. It's pretty great. And this release is no exception brings with it a plethora of useful changes. In this release, you get improved keyboard shortcuts that enable you to do all sorts of things without leaving your keyboard's home row. You get an auto tiling feature, which is pretty similar to what you get with tiling window managers that manages your windows automatically by putting them in logical positions by default. You get better workplace support, you get flat pack support, and you get vastly better support for hybrid graphics cards. Additionally, if you're using a System76 device, you get automatic firmware updates in this new release of Pop! OS. So all in all, a fantastic release that I'm sure a lot of people are going to really enjoy. And for our last story, we have the one that I am definitely the most excited for. E partners with Fairphone to ship phones with the E operating system pre-installed. Indeed, Fairphone are now shipping the Fairphone 3 with the privacy-respecting E Android operating system installed by default. This Android operating system is totally open source, filled up with open source apps, and is built to be privacy respecting. This means that you can now buy an Android phone without Google's nonsense installed out of the box, which is a big leap for the privacy conscious who still want an Android operating system. However, if you do want Google stuff out of the box, or A just kind of isn't your cup of tea, you can still buy a Fairphone 3 with a more sort of traditional Android installation, which is great to see since you can never have too many options. Also, if you want to see what the E operating system is like, I'll have a link in the description to where you can find my video review of it. But all in all, the Fairphone 3 looks to be a fantastic phone and the E operating system should be absolutely brilliant on it. And that's it for today's episode of The Open News. As always, links to all the articles I covered will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, consider joining LBRY through my link in the description. And once again, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.